Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, July 27, 2023. 67 degrees at 7.15 a.m. and I'm your host, Akama. And I'm a sinner. And I'm here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan. Brother Prince and Co-Star Michael. Brother Prince and Co-Star Max. Brother Prince and Co-Star Samuel. He's meditating. And I think Sister Princess and Co-Star Elsie is outside. But I think all kinds of strange things, so you can't go by what I think. Oh boy, we're sipping on our first cup of coffee. It's a very humid morning. It's overcast. And we are supposed to get sunny weather after these clouds clear. It's very humid right now. Like 97%. We got quite a storm yesterday. We got a lot of rain and a storm in the evening. And I enjoyed that. I was out bike riding. I was trying to get in another long ride. And it started sprinkling. And then it started raining harder. There's the princess. So I ended up coming home. And I didn't want to be caught out in, a, in an electrical storm. And I'm glad I did get home when I did, because it came down in buckets, but hey. Anyway, we got city chickens and doves cooing out there. So yesterday, let's do a recap from yesterday. Um, in the morning, we had asked about, mentioned Angie Skiba getting an operation, and she survived that, and she's, she was already home before the end of the day, so I was glad to hear that. But pray for her for a speedy recovery. And we baked bread in the morning. It was Sushi Meyer at Wednesday. Sushi Wednesday at Meyer. <laughs> and I ended up getting my famous shrimp roll, so I did have some sushi yesterday. Scored some salads and things like that there. I'm trying to remember. No, first we biked to save a lot to take Keith his loaf of bread that we baked him. Then biked over to Meyer. Then biked home. And as usual, we lost our Strava signal. It happens quite often. And then the next ride took us where? Out to the vet's office to pick up some food. No, Maxie's Medicine. We had to get Maxie's Meloxidil. Ended up riding out Bloom Road to North Point Road back to Misery Bay Road and came home from there. Once again, we lost the signal from Strava, so we just manually recorded that ride. The late afternoon ride took us out through town along State Street. We were going to head out to Partridge Point the back way and through the highway, and we got out as far as Island View Drive, I guess it is, and the rain started coming down a little harder, so I raced for home. We read to the cats. For dinner, I made some sautéed mushrooms and on onions with a smoked pork chop and a slice of my fa famous homemade bread. And... I can't remember a whole lot else. I know we did domestic chores around here. We did laundry. Who knows what else. But right now we're going to take a break and drink some coffee and spend some time with these loves. Yeah. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Um, normally we do the mic show on that phone right there that's charging. That's my old phone. That's the one I referred to as my fucking phone. And it's had issues for a while, and I got a new screen on it, and I was not happy with the work that was done. It was aftermarket parts, and long story short, it was shitty. And I've had nothing but bad luck with it since I had it repaired. And now the battery's going to hell. I charged the battery, turned the phone off, woke up this morning to do the mic show on that phone, and the battery was dead. Now, how does the battery run down when the phone is off? One of those mysteries of, 
Oh boy, technology, I guess. Bobby Sullivan sitting here on the plum spot. Sammy's deep in thought as usual. Mackie's even deeper. Oh, there goes Sullivan. He's on the move. He's on the move. And Mikey, they got the right idea. I wish I could be doing that. So anyway, we're back again. On one of my rides yesterday, I actually saw a deer right in town in one of the neighborhoods. It was over on North Street. It was right in the middle of a paved street. And we get deer here, but across the river, you know, there's forest. We're, we're not that far from where there's actually forest. And I know by the cemetery I see a lot of deer, but there's actually some forest there. And Anyway, we saw a deer right in town. What are you thinking, Sammy? We gotta give you your pill. What else did I want to mention about being on my rides? I really enjoyed being this out on the stretch where I turned off onto Bloom Road, onto North Point Road, and it's canopy don't over out there and just pedaling along. It was just great. I think I saw a venison on the road out there also. But I think I don't know where I'll head today. I'm shooting for a 600 mile month for the month of July, which I shouldn't have no trouble doing. I'm over 500 miles now for the month. Last month we had 501. In the month of May we had 818. <laughs> It'd be tough to get that in before the month is over. But speaking of that, the month is almost over and it's almost August. Sammy's on the move, getting a drinky. Oh, boy. So anyway, and political news. That shit show we got going on in the White House and his family. Smoke and mirrors are announcing and having investigations about UFOs. The sweetheart deal, the president's son was offered, fell apart, and God, I wish there would be some justice in this world. I wish there'd be some prosecution. There's just too much shady going on. I'd like to see the truth come to light. I'd like to see some of these assholes that we elect to run our government, whether it's state, local, federal. If, if they're breaking the law, they need to be held accountable, not just have committees and pat them on the back and give them promotions for fucking up and fucking us over. But hey, what do I know? Well, let's move off from that. It's a shit show, though. It sure is. One more brief statement on the current administration, though. The bottom line, it isn't so much the corruption and the greed and the lying and everything else. The man's got dementia. He's got no business leading this country. Yeah. All right, we're back again. All kinds of excitement happened during our intermission. Maxie went outside and then came back in and laid down over there. Sully and Sam went outside. I went outside and put some food out for the wildlife. Mikey's still sleeping there. And I remembered some more excitement from yesterday. I did do some more conjuring in the kitchen. I baked some chicken thighs and then I made mayo. And then I, after the chicken thighs cooled, I chopped them up with a jalapeno and some onion. Threw in some black pepper, threw in my mayo, and made some chicken salad for a sandwich, which we'll enjoy on our homemade bread. So, there was method to the madness in the kitchen yesterday. There usually is. Look who's back. It's Poppy. How are you, Tammy? How are you, sweetheart? You gonna get a drinky? I bet you are, aren't you? Oh, boy. Well, we are back for our closing segment. I'm just looking at what passes for news locally, and there's some firm gave a, a consulting firm gave recommendations for our courthouse. There's the circuit courts on one side of the Chisholm Street, the district courts on the other, and they, they say it's dangerous, and, you know, to have to make that not be so, there should be a 34 fucking million dollar expansion to the circuit courthouse building. It's like, come on, really? 
watch your fucking left and right before you cross the street. It ain't that difficult. But I guess it is. <laughs> People can't be accountable. Oh, no. Look both ways before I cross the street. Hell, I can't do that. No, I don't know. You know, we're taxed to the max right now, and they want to tax us more, sell bonds and raise taxes to make a $34 million expansion to the courthouse. Anyway, the long story short is I should quit reading what passes for news. I'm here with Bobby Sullivan. Mackie just regrouped to over there. Mikey's still there. Princess Elsie is out on Audie's bed in the living room. I don't know if you can see her out there. And Sammy's over here. And we're going to start doing our yoga, make a nice coffee. I think I'm going to pedal out M32 on the rail, rail trail today for my ride. And anyway... That's about all we got. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul. Piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday, and thanks for not tuning in.